Now that we know how to build a form to input data, let's learn how to build a report that will allow us to output the data on the web. Once again, click on the New Data Page link. But this time, instead of building a form, we will build a report. You can choose from a variety of layouts on how you wish to display the data. I will select Tabular Layout and move on. Here we will select our Contacts table as the data source because that's where all of our contact information resides. On the following screen, I will leave this as is because I want to be able to search data using a search form. Next, I will select my name and email fields as my two search fields, but you can choose as many as you want. On the next screen, I will configure my search fields. To simplify my search, I will choose Contains Comparison Type for both the name and email so that I can return a broader results range. Next, let's choose our fields for the results page. In other words, these are the fields that will be displayed after we click Search. I'll move all of my fields and continue. For now, I do not wish to have any editing capability on the web, so I will leave these checkboxes as is. However, if you want someone to be able to edit the data on the web, you can choose from the following three checkboxes. In the next part of the wizard, I will choose not to configure my results page, so I will skip this and move on. We'll have a few options on this screen to choose how many contacts we want to display. Let's leave the screen as is and continue. We can further enable a details view for this report, but I will go ahead and disable that for this video. Notice how the preview button and the finish button are now available for me to click on. Let's preview the report before saving our changes. We now have the ability to search and view the results in the preview mode. The report will display no records found because we currently don't have any data inside our contacts table. Go back to Caspio and click Finish to save your changes now. We have now successfully created two data pages. Join me in the last video of this video series where I teach you how to publish the form and the report to a website and how to start populating data inside the contacts table.